Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the Be Your Plan playing Shadowrun Hong Kong. So, this time around, well, we have had Isnobel, we have had Gobbit, and it is time for yet another one. Well, I can tell you, Rector, oh man, the conversations with him are getting quite uh, weird. But. To uh, follow on him up, we might need to see his quest to uh, perhaps uh, give closure to that in a proper manner. Anyways, for the moment, Gobbit has actually gained an upgrade. Apparently, her rat um, her spirit was so happy that the uh, rats are dancing in her dreams, and she's been given a pellet. Let's, yeah, she's been given a little small little stone that causes confusion in anyone that she throws it at. Okay, um, interesting prize, but that is what we got. For solving it this way, for not blowing up the ship, but, uh, well, for letting the ship live and throwing the stone away in the water, so she said. So I wondered what would have happened if we would have just sold it. Probably then the only reward we would have had was money. However, there is a man that is more practical, and I don't mean Rector, no, it's Gaichu. Gaichu, well, he is nowadays a ghoul, thanks to one of the viruses and that, uh, well, or like the vampiric virus that also can cause you to become a vampire. And Gaichu was formerly a Red Samurai, that is an elite troop for Renraku, which is then again an incredibly big corp that, uh, well, rules several locations, among which Japan, well, or at least it has a big finger in, uh, well, the say. And uh, because he is, well, a shame to his team, his team must kill him. And, uh, well, normally they would reassign several units together, but... Uh, because he's still alive, people don't really want to join them, because their honor is besmirched. And humans from Japan are better, so, well, so are the Red Samurai told. And uh, seeing he is alive, well, now he wants to join them. He killed already two of his former members, or actually killed one and injured one heavily. And uh, now they have apparently replaced the heavy gunner with somebody else, uh, apparently another disgraced team, or so he thinks. And he has devised a plan to lure them out because he has been running over and over again from place to place. And I told him, you gotta face up, you gotta man up and see your problems like a strong woman. I, I mean, man, I mean, go. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to travel to a Renraku warehouse in Tonu Harbor to ambush Gachu's old Red Samurai unit. Moreover, moreover. He has arranged for us to, uh, well, how shall I put it, gain money. Because he has actually made a Johnson uh, do this contract for him. They are moving some prototype drone for Renraku around. And, uh, well, uh, this drone, uh, the scientist, wants to actually get out of Renraku. So we're going to get and paid and we're going to help guide you at the same time. I am all ears. So here we can see that Gobbit has this new pebbit. Let's bring it along. Just if to see if we can use it. Rector, you're getting creepy. Um Then again it's about drones in this case, right? Um jury rig and this. This is technical thing above. If they're bringing on a drone, then again we need to take out a unit of uh, red samurai soldiers. And we have two people close combat. No, we need some heals. We need some heals and units. And we could use Duncan's control abilities. But now we have no tech support. Hmm. We need tech support. We're bringing it this way. I wanted to bring Duncan along because he has a lot of crowd control effects, but mm, it's gonna be four at some right. Crowd control is uh, four, is that? It's on the verge where you're thinking about, I need some crowd control, I don't need crowd control, I need straight up damage, so yeah. And thanks to Isnobel's armor damaging abilities, it might be good. The Tolo Harbor Industrial Complexes, sprawling maze of warehouses, auto fabrication facilities, shipping container mazes, and corporate power. If something corporate-owned is shipped through Hong Kong, it invariably moves through these streets. 
Then a Raku shipping facility lies far enough away from the heart of the ho total harbor that you won't have to worry about corporate security other than the on-site guards. And the Raku extraterritorial extraterritoriality still wrong extraterritoriality means in other words this is a very big word to say outside of Japan because that's where Naraku is based any fighting won't risk from rent accounts so more or less what it says we will only be facing Rengaku security personnel thank you very much Confirm. We are saving up money. I haven't bought any better spells yet. I want to, but we have only 1,200 Nugen. And, uh, well, there is still this last upgrade I want to get. A uh, Cyberware, which is 2,750. And actually, I've been thinking about perhaps going a little lower than the essence because we aren't using that many spells. Like, if we're fighting, we use... Well, we definitely lose Life Siphon. We use Fireball. And we use heal mainly and a bit of mana ball. These two are just completely immune right now because they're single target. And I uh, up close do single target more damage. So perhaps we even want to go below the essence limit. Get ourselves some nice cyber lags to move faster. But uh, we also want to spend some money. And we want a better mana ball because this is a very low mana ball. So we want to spend money for better spells. At least some cyberware, because we have 0 0.5 left, uh, seeing we have less than 6.5. And we also actually want better armor, because our armor is kind of crappy nowadays. We really need more Nugen. As you exit the MTR and step into Total Harbor Street, you're mm, blessedly spared from rain. And up in the constant monsoon, combined with the sweltering heat, has left the concrete and your body blessed free of moisture. Gaichu cast a glance at you, and he nods in satisfaction. This is the facility. Past that fence is the warehouse and test laboratories. Ishida and his team should arrive mere minutes after we breach their defenses. Which, by the way, is of course, as you may uh, understand, is a former team member and the one that leads them. Sounds good to me. What kind of initial opposition will we face? But the Red Samurai provide a good backup team, there are too few of them to mount a standing guard. This means that we will be facing standard and Raku security forces. While they are not as potent as better equipped security, uh, Knight Errant for instance, they are still skilled combatants. Gabbard grins widely, tossing her robes of hair over one shoulder. Great! I love dealing with corporate security. They're like a string, like a stake. You're never surprised what you get, but you're never disappointed either. This is sounding just fine, Nibbles. She's calling Gaichu Nibbles? Ugh. Inclining his head respectively, Gaichu watches Gobbit's grin with a small one of his own, but he can't see, he's blind. I'm glad that it meets you with your approval, Gobbit. I would hate to think you were bored. Alright, well at least we brought in one person along that is reacting to it. Ooh, medical supplies. Love them. Love them and want them. Scope out the area. Let's close up there. Alright. Hostile spotted. Uh oh. We ran in way too deep. I saw hostile spotted, but the game didn't start yet. And they get the first round on us. And we are surrounded. Ay, 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 ay. Bat. Ooh. Please miss because I don't want to. Have to heal your damage in comparison to the others. That was really bad. The game really started slowly about the fact that it spotted hostiles. Ah, me. All right. Um, I'm out in the. I am really, really out of position here. Ninety-nine percent. Thank you. 99% and I missed? <laughs> okay, uh, fire grenade. If we miss, it doesn't matter. There's an explosive barrel, toxic barrel over here. We hit. We hit very powerful. Um, I really don't like my positioning one bit. I am so out of position. Stand behind here. Get over here. 
heal this damage up. Voila, I am back in the game. Um, regenerate. You are going to be the one that, uh, well, is going to take a lot of damage for us. Damages people in the vicinity. Yeah, we kind of need that. Um, oh, everything is a two move. A one move here. Um, we want the, the stance that gives us more defense for the moment. Your attacks will do AP damage. Uh, water stance, no negative or positive. Are we dodge is reduced? No, we want the dodge is increased. This one. All right, do they have metal stance and also more armor and more dodge. You are going to take the damage blow because we already used our best med kit. Um, yeah, we we are so out of position. My should have hot. Yeah, I'm in the wrong spot of hiding. My mistake. I'm a little too desperate to get out of the way of the, the bullets. No! We are lucky. Alright, the mage comes in for us. Good, that's the man that we want to get the damn. Okay, we are lucky about the misses. We are really bad about the fact that we got into the situation at all. You are very dumb to stand in there. And luckily a shotgun doesn't have that accuracy at that distance. At least in games, most of the time it actually is not that bad, but... Yeah, um... Let's get some secure damage. Oh, disease! Uh, one AP less per round. Have fun with it. Yes, because we have leveled of Gaichu most of his, uh, well... Um, abilities regarding his damage. Mm, this is too much out in the open. Take another hit. He has done so much AP damage that he is pretty dead. Um, I am willing to throw the fireball, but we have like... Wait, we can't... Oh my... Oopsie! We may have a problem. Houston, we may have a problem here. Uh, oh, bro, it's 65% chance. Hit, thank you very much. So he has now doubled the damage because and because he reacted because of this damage that cloud also affected him again i know that from this game which is kind of good in this um, in position he's dead and take at least light cover and get more distance between you and your attacker um we're crazy not going for the single spells uh activate him no not again with the well, enjoy a fireball! Three times the damage over him if he reacts. This cloud, that cloud, and... They have more. Well, thank you for hitting your ally. Um, they have more security. Well, at least that guy is gone and he will give me some cover. <clears throat> With his body. Currently, I am uh, well, I'm hitting up enough, and thanks to this, the, the the disease cloud over here of Gaichu, we are doing damage regardless of the fact that he is not uh, doing a lot of hits at the moment. But, and he is healing him slowly himself up because his regeneration is on right now. Um, still, that should probably kill him for the next round. Unfortunately, Gabba doesn't have. Biotech in such a sense that she knows what to do with it. Consume spirit. No, 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 no. Not consuming spirit. Um, I'm also not going to use... Wow, the throwing the pebble costs two. An area of effect throwable that causes uh, affected targets to ignore their foes. Ah, I thought that was actually for a single target the, the way it was described to me by Gobbit. But apparently this is for more foes. Yeah, then 2 AP is kind of logical, but we're not gonna throw that. And calling it as Devil Red... Mm, I'm not sure why this man isn't, like... Like, he isn't Poison Fog, he's wounded... No, he's on fire. Wait a second. Perhaps is no Bell is that power? I'm not really sure our power... Uh, biotech. I think Isabel has that, doesn't she? No, not not walk there. I'm not far enough up. Let's see here. 8 HP. 
He has minus seven per round from the fire, so he's going to survive it anyway, and he also has armor. Right. Alright. Then I say we're going to fire upon him, and just gonna have to hope. Yeah, I know I have a very poor hit chance, but... I know what I should have done! I'm an idiot! Get him out of cover! Nope. Missed again. Oh, five damage from the... Ooh. We took damage, but because we still have essence, our spell was already back. So we could immediately go at it again. That thing of the armor misses too many times to be enjoyable. Alright. Come on. Red Samurai, you gotta hit 79%. Did everybody see that, by the way? 79% chance to hit for Gaichu. I miss two of three hits. My luck with these type of games is sometimes a little bad. Oh, by the way, why am I hitting this? This is 70% hit. You, what you gotta do is... I am lucky I thought of that in time. Uh-oh. Where did the fog spawn? Ugh. I was a little too eager to throw the spell and... Kind of made a boo-boo on the fact where it wouldn't hit. I knew this is a bad hit, just hit, but your area of effect damage. Thank you very much. That was good enough for what we wanted to do. Get some more bleeding on him. Nope, filled. Oh, he is moving. I'm gonna take another hit. Yeah, that was to be expected. Gobbit, I kind of need your heal. Um, so you're going to get take some really light cover. And I'm going to be... The dangerous woman. Two AP damage. Alright, but it should now be that Gobbit can see us. Yes, and the wound is healed. Yeah, giving us 70 HP wasn't a bad idea, to be honest. Alright, missed that, but we also missed the life siphoning. Ah, we are big on missing today. Um. Normal stance, please. Because we want to do a little bit more damage. Water. Um, which one was the does AP? So your text will do AP damage. Because he takes like, some AP damage from Deathclaw. So if he takes another... Uh, I had hoped that would... Uh, well, I should have increased his aim. My mistake. My mistake. Ooh! Big hit! Big hit again, please! Yes! Finally! Yoza! Oh, this was a thing where we could sneak around! Right! Because I am totally aware of that. <clears throat> Let's see. Dog Wagon Drama Kit. We'll send that home. At least now we know that we can uh, fill one, so to speak. And uh, then have not so much trouble. I am glad we have Esnobel with us. Maintenance panel, please jack in. Well, that is for the next episode. I say I thank you for watching. And remember, great peril yields great beauty.